What's going on guys? Today we are going to be looking at engraving images onto mirrors. Now I've never really engraved a proper image. I've done like a flat vector where it's just done the complete image in just like one power and it turned out pretty well. I will put a link in the top corner if you've never seen it. Um, it was something I done on my smaller CO2 machine. So we had to use a smaller mirror. And at the moment I do have options to actually engrave larger images because I've got a larger machine with a larger bed. So I've got a bit more play in like the size of mirrors I can use. And I purchased quite a few cheap mirrors from like places like Ikea and like cheap pound shops. So I've got these square ones and some round ones. Now, I'm probably going to do a round one today because the image I'm going to be using, I've generated the image using AI and it's just got like a circular frame to it. So I think it'll just look better in the circular mirror. So like I said, I've never actually engraved images on a mirror before. So I have run a couple of tests and all these are here. I basically put the mirror upside down and I've engraved through the back end on the mirror. So then you can actually see the image through the front. Now I did try over there on the front. Can't really see it. Didn't turn out the best. I wasn't happy with it. That was my first attempt with the with the mirror upright. So directly on the glass. Didn't have a problem engraving it. Um, I just wasn't happy with the results. And I flipped the mirror over and I said I've just engraved through the backing on it. So I did run a couple of different speeds and powers using this machine. I settled on this one here using 600 millimeters a second. But uh, um, I used dither mode, maximum speed of 28% and minimum at 12% power. And that is using a CO2 with a 60 watt tube. And I think it turned out absolutely amazing. You can see all the details there. It does look quite 3D the effect I'm going for. But you can also see I have put some paint over the back just to see how that will affect the image. It does look good with the back painted, but I don't think I'm going to do that on the final image. This is the image I'm going to use. I'm going to do the full size of it on there. And once it's done, then we'll see if we're going to paint it or not from there. So let's get a fresh mirror then. We'll load it up into the laser. We'll use the built-in camera to line up the image to go directly in the center and cover as much as we can on the mirror. And then we'll run it at those speeds and powers we've tested on you. Now, for some reason, my mic decided to stop working. So here's some random text to voice generator to explain what I'm doing. I gave the new mirror a quick clean on both sides with IPA. Then I placed the mirror face down on the laser bed, used the laser's autofocus tool to get the right focal length, then used the built-in camera on the laser to line up my image in Lightburn. So we're finished with the engraving guys. And if I just show you here the back of the mirror, you can see you've got the dark spots and that's where it's engraved through the back and obviously completely through the mirror. So that back in stuff is what creates the mirror effect you see on the front. But obviously once you remove it, that effect is gone. So let's show you the front. And if you look at the front, that looks absolutely amazing. I'm trying to do it so there's not too much light reflecting on it so you don't just see glare. So it has got the three dimensional look I was going for with it. I haven't painted the back of this yet and I don't think I'm gonna because I think the way this has turned out is exactly how I wanted it to turn out. And so I don't think painting it is really gonna make any difference unless I maybe painted it white. But again, I think that might ruin it. I'm not gonna take the chance to be honest with you. 
Now I am really happy guys with how this turned out. Testing the speeds and powers that I needed to use on a spare mirror beforehand obviously helped me get the near perfect result on here. So I am really happy with how this turned out as an end result like this. But I may use the laser to build a frame out of MDF. So I'll just cut a circle with a frame and then I can put some LED lights in there and backlight it. I'm not sure yet. If you would like to see it guys, let me know down in the comments and I will I'll make a video on it. But I am really happy with how this turned out. Like I'd be happy with this as an end result to be fair. Honestly, I can't stop looking at it because I don't know if it's picking up on camera, the three dimensional look on it. But yeah guys, let me know what you think about this. Um, put it down in the comments if you thought it was pretty cool and if you've ever tried engraving on a glass or mirror before and uh, if you've got any tips definitely let me know because I'm always willing to learn also let me know if you want to see me build a backlight frame for it so again like I said I can make a video on that it should be a nice easy one to do I'll show you exactly how to do it yourself if you'd be interested but hope you enjoyed today's video guys it was a very fun project making this I might paint it and see how it turns out if I do I'll put a picture up on Instagram of how it looks um Unless it looked really bad, then I just won't bother, to be honest with you. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, definitely give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel out a million. And again, if you're not subscribed already, click that subscribe button because we got some interesting stuff coming up very soon. And I've got something down here which I'm going to be giving away to someone. Uh, stick around. I'll make a short on that of um, what I will be giving away if you'd be interested. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one. Ta-da.